皆さんこんにちは、カズ先生です。So in this lesson, we're going to be talking about some basics of Japanese writing systems, and in this video, we're going to be focusing on hiragana. So let's get started. So in Japanese writing systems, there are three types, and they are hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Now the original Japanese characters are actually hiragana and katakana. And kanji is basically is a Chinese characters that the Japanese borrowed、uh, about a thousand years ago. And so hiragana and katakana actually came from kanji. But in this video, we're going to be only focusing on hiragana, and then I'll create more videos to talk about katakana and kanji later on. All right, so let's talk about hiragana. Now, first thing about hiragana is that when you look at the hiragana characters, You can tell that they're different from katakana and kanji because they tend to be roundish in shapes. So, for example, this is hiragana for a. You notice how it's kind of very curvy like this. This is hiragana for no, right? You also see very, it's very curvy. So, hiragana tends to be roundish in shape. So, that's how you can recognize it. So, when do we use hiragana and not katakana and kanji? Well, You use hiragana when you use conjunction endings. So they are basically the ending part of a sentence, like masu, desu, deshita, and so on. So for conjunctions, we use hiragana. Also for function words and native Japanese words not covered in kanji. So sometimes things that are very unique to Japanese or Japanese culture, there's no kanji characters that can express them. And so, you know, times like that, we use hiragana. Also, for names, people's names. So, you know, when you have a very unique name and you can't write your name in kanji, we may use hiragana. And finally, some of the basics of hiragana. So, there are actually 46 hiragana syllables, or you can consider it as sounds. And 23 additional sounds using the two dots. I know it's a little bit small on the screen, but you see a little two dots. And they're there to make voiceless consonant sounds into voiced consonant sounds. So, for example, ka with a k becomes ga with the two little dots. Ki turns into gi, and ku turns into gu, and so on. So, I'll show you some examples later. There are also five additional sounds using a little circle next to the hiragana. So you'll see, for example, like pa. I know it's a little bit small, but there's a little circle right there above the hiragana for ha. So pa, pi, pu, pe, po. Now, for these circles, they only apply to these five hiragana characters. So you'll never see these circles in any other hiragana, only for these. And then there are three contracted sounds using small ya, yu, yo. And finally, there's one sound for double consonant sounds with a small tsu. And what that basically does is it creates a glottal stop sounds. So, for example, wakatta, shiteiru, and so on. So you, you, see, you hear a little sound stopping in the middle, right? Wakatta, shiteiru, and so on. Not shiteiru. Or not wakata, wakata. So those are called glottal stops. So the small two is there to create that glottal stop sounds. Okay, so now let's go over the 46 hiragana characters and the pronunciations. So you see on the screen at the top is the actual hiragana characters, and then in red are the pronunciations. So I'm going to go through each one. So if you want, you can repeat after me. As you watch this video. Okay, so here we go. A, I, U, E, O. Notice that basically the first hiragana sounds are all the vowels. So A, E, I, O, U. Okay, so A, I, U, E, O. The rest of the hiragana is basically it's a combination of a consonant and a vowel. So for example, the next line, you notice that it starts with a K. So basically, all the lines for the K sounds will have a combination of K plus the vowel. So for example, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. 
Next line it starts with S. Sa, shi, su, se, so. Next line is T. Ta, chi, tsu, te, to. Now, one thing to know, um, notice how the chi is a ch, uh, but that's just for the pronunciation. So it's ta, chi, tsu, te, to. If you just use ti here, it'll, it'll have a sound of t. Uh, in Japanese sounds, t does not exist. Next line starts with an n. Na, ni, nu, ne, no. Next line starts with H. Ha, hi, hu, he, ho. One thing to note, here, the character or the letter starts with an F. It's hu, not hu as an H-U. Japanese sounds, H-U sound does not exist. So for example, in English, you would be like, who is it? Or who, right? That who sound. So it'll, it'll be H-F-U, not H-U. Next line starts with an M. Ma, mi, mu, me, mo. Next line starts with an R. Now, this one is tricky for a lot of English speakers because in English, the la sound doesn't really exist. You can kind of think of it as a mix of R and the L sound. Some people like to say that, you know, it sounds almost like a Spanish R. You roll the tongue a little bit. Except in Japanese, we don't roll the tongue, we, we flick the tongue. So what do I mean is, if you want to say la, la, you put the tongue, imagine this is your teeth, top of your mouth, the tongue is up here, above your teeth, behind it, and you say la, la, you like flick your tongue. So it's that flicking of the tongue that makes that la sound. So you do the similar thing for the rest of it. So la, li, lu, le, Lo. La, li, lu, le, lo. So if you're not familiar or you're not really used to that tongue flick when you're pronouncing, you, know, you might have to practice that a little bit. All right, next line. Starts with a Y. Ya, yu, yo. And next one, the last three are wa, wo, n. Wa, wo, n. So for the W line, there's only actually the A and O combination. There's no other sounds. So there's no other combination like A, I, U, E, and O. Okay, only for A and O. And the last one is unique because this is the only sound that has the double consonant, which is n. You basically make the sound with your throat. N. So these are the 46 hiragana characters and pronunciation. So next, let's talk about the voiced consonant sounds that I was talking about. So again, there are 23 voiced consonant sounds using this little two dots as you see here. And they only apply to these hiragana. So in the past, we just talked about the ka, kakiku keko, the ka line, sa line, ta line, and ha line. So the voiced consonant sounds only apply to those hiragana. So I'll repeat each one. See if you can say it after me. Ga, gi, gu, ge, go. Ga, gi, gu, ge, go. Za, ji, zu, ze, zo. Da, ji, zu, de, do. Now, one thing you know, the, this zu and this zu have the same pronunciation. The only time it's different is just the, the shape of the, the actual hiragana characters. But the pronunciation between this one and this one are the same. Also the same for the ji. So shi with the two dots and chi with two dots, they both have the same pronunciation. Next line is ba, bi, bu, be, bo. Right? So one more time. Ga, gi, gu, ge, 
go za ji zu ze zo da ji zu de do ba bi bu be bo. So these are the 23 voiced consonant sounds. So now let's talk about the additional sounds using the little circle next to the hiragana. So again, I mentioned that the only time you see the circle is when you have the ha hi fu he ho hiragana. So you see the ha with a little circle up here, right, for each one. So becomes a sound is pa, pi, pu, pe, po. Pa, pi, pu, pe, po. So these are the five additional sounds using the little circles. The next Japanese sounds is the contracted sounds using the small ya, yu, and yo. Now one thing to note, these contracted small ya, yu, yo do not appear by itself. So on its own, it, there's no sound. They only are used when you combine it with other hiragana characters. So for example, you have ki, and the small ya, and that creates kya. Ki and the small u creates kyu. Ki and small yo creates kyo sound. So without the actual hiragana, the big brother hiragana, by itself, these small uh, contracted sounds don't actually have a sound, so you don't read it by itself. They always are combined with a big hiragana next to each other. So let's do the other one. Sha. Shu, sho, cha, chu, cho, nya, nyu, nyo, hya, hu, hyo, mya, mu, myo. This is going to be a hard one. The R Y A sounds. Dia, du, dio, dia, du. A lot of people say that these three sounds are very similar to Spanish R's. So you might have to roll your R a little bit in order to get that sound correct. Next one is Gya, Gyu, Gyo, Ja, Ju, Jo, Bya, Bu, Byo. Pia, pu, pio. So this last one right here, this last three, you notice that it has a small circles. So these pia, pu, and pio, they are only combined with the he with a circle next to it. So these are the contracted sounds using the small ya, yu, and yo. All right. So finally, let's talk about the double consonant sounds with a small tsu. So in the beginning, I told you about how we use a small tsu to have kind of a glottal stop sounds. So here's some examples. You have the words like wakatta. Wakatta means to understand. And if you write it in romaji, it's double T sound. So wakatta, wakatta. There's like a pause in between. Wakatta. Saka. Right, double K sound. Saka means writer. Zashi. And here's in Romaji, it's double S. Zashi means magazine. Waratta. It's a double T sound. Waratta. It means laughed. And then hapa. Hapa. And this is a double P sound. And hapa means leaf. So a small tsu is used when there are double consonant sounds such as the double T, double K, double P, and so on. So glottal stop. Remember that one. All right, so to wrap things up, I just talked about some basics of hiragana and all the different hiragana characters, including different sounds. And in order for you guys to study hiragana, I recommend some of these apps and websites that you guys can check it out. So first one is Tofugu's Learn Hiragana Quiz, Ryokana, Anki, 
Dr. Moku's Hiragana mnemonics. So basically, uh, these three are apps, and this one is a website. So I post this link uh, for these apps and the websites in the description below. So you know, if you want to check out these apps and websites, you know, you guys can go ahead and find that in the link. All right, so that wraps it up for this video's lesson of the basics of hiragana. So if you want to see more content like this, and if you like this video, please follow me on YouTube. Please click that like. And also, I have Patreon site, Kazura Japan, as well as Instagram, TikTok. So uh, if you haven't checked me out in those different accounts, please follow me there as well. Um, I also post short lessons uh, Japanese lessons for everyone. So, um, yeah, so if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe and please follow me on the other accounts. So, I appreciate any comments you guys have. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you guys soon. So, それではまた今度ありがとうございました。バイバイ。